Up we go. Fight me, bro. Nope. Oh, we found the Valkyrie side. Oh no, not the little gnomes. Dwarves, I mean, sorry. They're just so tiny. <laughs> I'm used to the uh, the Western RPG version of dwarves, which are significantly larger usually, because the really tiny ones are often gnomes or halflings or some other variant of even smaller than dwarf race. D&D &D included. It's funny because dwarves are literally named after how, how they're small, as far as I can tell. Yes, surprisingly, uh, there are a ton of other playable races that aren't even particularly deep cuts that are uh, significantly smaller than the uh, dwarves in many cases in D&D. I miss D&D. All my friends I used to play it with moved across the board. Man, if you uh, like, you sort of you sort of get prepped for the idea that uh, that a graduating high school is gonna kind of suck because it's that uh. That one adult phase of, oh look, everybody's leaving. That sucks. I guess I, time to meet brand new people again. But then you, but then if you go to college, you then have that happen again. I'm like, I'm tired of this pattern now. And the, the, the trick is that even then, it, it, even when it feels like that was the last time, every job's gonna feel like that from then on. <laughs> or so many parts of your life are just gonna be like, oh look, everyone's gone again, yay. It's cool, I don't want any permanence in my, in my social circles. Whoa! He has surprisingly little health. His uh, purple bar actually went down by half in that uh, with that one with that one bar. Drop it! Stop trying to use things that help you. This is inconvenient to me. Therefore, it shall be stopped. There we go. Just soaking up that damage, huh? Drop that blaze. There we go. You look like you're about to do something. I'm just gonna go over here for a second. There we go. He's really taking nicely to this whole thing. He's a very agreeable dance partner in that he is dying. I don't know if that, that he may she may have had, her her grandfather may have had a warped idea of dancing. I don't I'm not gonna judge. You don't insert yourself into other families' businesses. Ow, ow. Stop that. Oh, look, friends. I was wondering why you were so lonely in this cave. Maybe a little late to bring people in, though, because uh, you're about to be already over, really. There we go. Well, they're all dead now. So congrats on that. Oh, you're healing. You're lucky I wanted to, I wanted to grab, soak up with those Fozons for this purpose. Yay! Maybe she maybe is not so lucky. I sucked up all the Fozons for that lightning, for that fire attack. That may have been an incorrect conclusion based on that series of criteria. Wait. Ice cream and coolie recipe? I just got that, though. Muggle, mulberry, turny egg. Oh, wait, no, I just got that because I ordered it at the, uh... I ordered it in town, not from, uh... Not from Mori. Supposedly, in the original game, you had to get the ingredients and... I think you had to get the ingredients and then spend the, the ingredients between missions at those vendors, and, that, and Mori didn't exist in the game originally, so you... But the recipes did still exist or something like that? That's crazy. <laughs> Among other things, it feels like the... It, it pro I feel like they, that would have meant that the original game would have been much more monotonous for its basic gameplay to some extent. Because you'd be f you'd be farming rest you'd be farming materials mid mission to based on recipes you s you saw from between missions to spend between missions to prep for your next mission where you will then stockpile resources again and there's no variety of what you're spending in different places like there's not like this this dichotomy between currency and uh, and recipes I mean, and recipe ingredients between two different characters is, is kind of a neat a neat little diversity to that. I mean, Mori has clearly been inserted into the game to try to add a little stopgap in the middle of the uh, mission where you take a break from just grinding dwarves all day with your chain attacks. Anyone else? Nope. There we go. A little milk. 
And I should go ahead and pop this open. So I can now max out that dancing chain. And I'm happy to have it. Alright, so now we can use that more frequently. 35%. That's great. I can now almost use it three times in a row. Yeah, still slightly over one third. Might as well get my, my chain damage uh, bonus too. Gotcha. And we have a lot of fo uh, a lot of ability points available because of all that eating I did. Gain power upon defeating a foe is tempting. Shop discounts are tempting, of course. Long-term alchemy bonuses and all that. A lot of things are tempting. Make oh, make coin heal coins heal you. That's interesting. Something specific to ti the Titania character. All right. I, th I think I want the POW on defeating enemies. I feel like that's always come in handy, so let's get it again. Alright, good to go. So you might as well clear up this left branch of the screen. Hey guys, nice to see you. Now, you all could line up for me. Thank you. Oh, they're, de they're dead already. And here I was thinking I was going to make a difference. Nope. I guess I can't say I wasted the attack because there was nothing else here. And it's an auto-regenerating resource. Get out of here, Carrot. Or more specifically, stay here because I'm keeping you with me. This is what I get for taking those boots off. I've committed a terrible mistake. But they, they knew what they were doing. They put a checkpoint here on purpose. Alright. Just pay a visit this chest. Drop off some food items, and some bones. And then head over here to find boots. All right. I'll replace the luck stone for now. Don't necessarily want to keep this on because the uh, restricted movement can be a little rough. Does, yeah, do, does my jump suck now, kind of? Yeah, I think so. That led to some unexpected problems with the Shadow Knight, because I was trying to platform and I couldn't. I'm like, why does this platforming suck so much? And I wasn't even... I don't think I even considered at the time the idea that the uh, boots could be causing the problem. Let's go ahead and swap these back out so I can comically go flying across the room when I try to go back. There it is. The versus... Oh, Venus Bengal. Let's see... You have more damage as you lose health, but also do and do and take more damage. So good for offense, bad for not being a dead person. As it turns out, not being a dead person is a, is a useful skill when you're a, a completely alone with no party. I think figured I'd check for a secret door up there. All right, let's do this. Fly. <laughs> I was gonna say that almost seems like it'd be abusable that I uh, can just extend a chain and completely ignore my acceleration I had before. That was funny. I see you hiding there. Was that another one? No. I think I was imagining sparkles. Oh, it's you. My favorite. Chop, chop! Yay! No! I've been stunned! How could you? Bounce attack, go! I don't even know what type of trajectory it's trying to take. There's so many pu- Between all the bombs and the missiles and the dwarves and the boss, there's so many potential targets I could go after. Oh god. Ow. Well, that seems to help. What was that attacking? That was weird. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? You having a fun time? No, you can't kick me out. I don't want to get out. I'm living here now. You can't. You can't. You can't evict me. No lightning shall remove me from this premises. This is probably not a, a reasonable way to handle the situation. Ow, pain. 
And then came the part where my life, my life was agony. The end. Oh crap, I'm still eating. That's bad. And I, forgot, and I did not turn around correctly. Ah, crap. Okay. Calm down, game. Just for a second. Ta-da! Return fire. There we go. Ow. Oh my god, I am a particle from dying. Eat that toast up. Ow. Wow. So the flying boss is making it hard to use my, some of my attacks correctly because they don't attack people directly in front of me. Instead, choosing to swerve up into the sky. Even though uh, when it auto-aims at the boss, it doesn't seem to do damage because it seems to attack its appearance instead of its actual hitbox. Because it seems to just totally whiff as far as hitbox goes, even when I was on top of it. And all I needed it to do was shoot straight. See if I can remove this additional this additional problem right here. Oh, there comes the bomb. Ow, ow. Okay. I may have gone wrong in a few places. I'll admit that. The important ingredient is just to believe in me. My health pool increased significantly over the course of this episode. It's already. Over the course of this session, or this, 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 uh, I guess the most, I guess the accurate thing to call is a mission, uh, it's gone up by like 200. Crap. I didn't think that was, I think, uh, for some reason I thought that fire was not gonna hurt me, like as if I caused it. I think, I think it was because I, I think I saw it hurting them. But I don't think that it mattered. I don't think that was a distinction that affected anything here. Oh my god. Well, that's bad for me. That's awfully not good for me. Let's see what I can do. That's better. Probably should make a few more of these, given how things are going for me right now. There we go, stocking up a bit. I feel like this airship boss has gotten noticeably harder every single campaign. <laughs> like him very specifically over almost more so than almost every other boss in the game. He like they've very specifically have gotten more challenging. Oh crap, I don't have any any to spend. I was going to try to do the fire attack on the ground. Nope. Sometimes I just have no idea where my chain's trying to go. Oh look, heals. Oh, that was close. Oh! We good? What was that? Something happened up there just now. Ow! I just wanted to pay you guys a visit. Why can't we play nice? Yay! Friendly fireballs of friendliness. Didn't you guys miss me? Oopsie. Not really the attack I should have been doing in that context. Oh, they made they knocked me off again. Ah, oh, crap. At least they give me a lot of drops, I guess. There we go. There's so many components to this fight. <laughs> it's complicated. And now you're on fire. So how, how's that feel? You psyched about that? Ow, ow. What the what? If you're gonna auto aim, at least aim at something that's actually there. That that attack is frequently just kind of going wherever it feels like in this during this particular fight. It's one thing to not hit the person I want it to hit, but it's a whole other thing when it just kind of hits nobody and aims in random directions for some reason. It seems like there might be things that are that are anchor points that I can auto lock onto that don't act that are not actually attackable targets. Which is problematic for obvious reasons. Just give up. We're almost there. So close. Gotcha. Going down with the ship? The 
Decayed key. Probably gets me through to that one bag we saw on the map. Is that where it goes? Oh, a double chest room. Okay. Over there we have a rest room. Okay. I called it a rest room. Ha! <laughs> Not quite what I meant, but okay. I see you waiting over there, final boss. Where are you hiding? Oh, there you are. You're, sli you're slightly above me. I'm on to you and your weird chirping noises. Alright, so I can go to the boss right now. But obviously I want to get that bag space. Ow, 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 ow. So nice of you to all group up like this. Awfully convenient, really. She has such a graceful move set. It's actually, it must have been really fun to animate and plan out how she was going to be behave with most of her actions. With all the twirls and the bizarre ways that her chain works. Like she's holding onto it somehow, but it looks like she's it, she looks like she's never holding it. <laughs> it's a mystical nonsense magic chain that has even less uh, lo logic to it at times than, than any of the other ciphers, I think, which are usually actually seem to be traditional weapons that are just super powerful. There's definitely times where it doesn't look like she's necessarily actually physically holding her weapon. And it doesn't seem to have anchor points because it slides and extends and everything, so I think it just is. I think it just has nonsense uh, magic physics, which is fine. It's just the, it's just the outlier. Omori, oh, I've come for you. Also, jump up some of that. Probably have the boots too. Destroyed that onion. It knows what it did. I'm just a businessman. More eggs, more buns. The end. There we go. Just adding these to the pool. Alright, so over here, this probably, yep, the usual set. Our assembly and our other friend here. Oh, let's do one grape seed. Go, 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 yeah! You did it! And hip! That was dr that was some dramatic uh, grape picking right there. Let's go for that passive. And it's maxed out. Well, that was fast. Welcome to Mori's Touring Restaurant! When I come here, I am reminded of that terrifying day. Uh, mind me not! Huh? A new recipe! Allow me to add it to the menu! Now then, what do you want to order? When we first met Mori, we'd never suspected that he had a dark and brooding backstory, but now we know his innermost secrets. And he's gonna make me pancakes. <laughs> well, now I want real pancakes, not cartoon pancakes. Mori, why can't you make me real pancakes for the real life? You disappoint me, Mori. It's okay, Mori. You'll always be real to me, except in the ways that can make me pancakes, which kind of matter. So not quite real. It's really more, mostly just lip service. Wow. I think when I loaded up this mission, I was level 10. So progress made, I suppose. Uh, that one's 510. Yeah, egg on toast is probably one of the best options I have. This should be 750 if, if I'm correct about the three stack. That I, I think that's how it works, right? It says three out of three, so I assume if I use it, if I, I assume it stacks the uh, heal, the experience. Is Mori falling from the sky each time I cook something? I think he's falling from the sky. It's a little freaky. Let's finish off that bonus just to clear it off for no good reason. 
Mori, you didn't fall from the sky this time. I was watching, to be sure. Thank you very much. All right, just one more stop for the double chest, and we'll be good to go. Let's get these grapes out of my sight. All right, we'll see. That might be a tough room. Double chest makes me think it might be a, one of those, are you ready to take on this challenging boss? Rooms. But we'll see. Open. Let's find out. Maybe there's no one in this room. Maybe it just is a double chest room and that's it. Thank you. Ah, uh, you said double chest. But there's triple chest. At least I think the map only had two chests on it. Could be wrong. I could be wrong about that. Can I break through this? No, not this time. Ah, uh, did not did not land that, did I? Try this again. Miracle fruit C! We're really showering this character with miracle fruits, aren't we? Can I go up there? Nope. Alright. That's that then. Got one more miracle fruit for the set. So now I've got two relatively decent healing foods, not counting any of the actual healing potions I have available too. Let's take out the big bad. Hey there. I'm coming for you, boss fight. Fall in. We'll maintain formation here while we wait. Check roll call again. Lord Brigan! What are you suggesting? Why should we wait after coming all the way here? Gwendolyn's troops are already in battle. Tis not very far from here. Shut up! Don't lecture me! The princess has advanced too quickly. We shall advance slowly. We must save our strength. If we hurry now, we'll be unable to rush them. Do not worry, my troops. The king's pride and joy is fighting. Our victory is almost guaranteed. But Lord Brigan... You're so annoying. Fine, go on ahead. I'll catch up. We're almost there! Tell them not to hold back! Lord Brigan, will you be departing as well? Don't be so hasty, you fool! Heroes wait for a dramatic entrance! But in the last battle, we did not make it in time, and Princess Griselda... Don't use that tone with me! Who are you? What are you doing here? The Demon Lord's confidant. Out of my way. What's all this then? Hey, wait! Don't disturb me! You! How dare you! I like, this is, this is actually kind of funny. <laughs> so, this boss fight isn't even really, it's like almost not even a story boss fight. It's just literally like, oh, these two characters randomly encounter each other. And, I mean, Brigand's a dick. And uh, Velvet's not big on communication sometimes. So, I guess they're going to have to go do a fight. <laughs> it's just what would happen in this situation. Stop having plates. I must damage you. Here comes the damage now. There we go. You feeling all right, Brigand? You seem a little bit vulnerable at the moment. I don't know, I can't quite lay my finger on it. It might be the total lack of defenses on your body. I'm sure that won't matter though, you'll be fine. Oops, are you distinctly not fine? I wonder why that could be. You're not even, fa he's not even, 
he didn't even turn around to face the right way for this. He's really gonna be in trouble then. Well, you're awfully low on health, aren't you? Oops. No, no, no. Don't try to put, don't try to put plates back on him. We should get out of the way real quick. Not big on turning around, is he? Cyclone time! Nope, no plates. Stop, 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 stop. No plates. Don't put the plates back on him. I want to continue damaging him for the rest of the fight. He deserves it. You don't want to work for this guy anymore, do you? Just let it happen. It's okay. Just a little more. I think I actually, I actually managed to get them all before they could heal him back up. He's very vulnerable with those gone, like more so than most bosses. Dear Cauldron, you neglect a child. Now, obey the ring. Listen to the voice of the ring's owner. Go to sleep. Stop all this. Let not a single cog spin. Now, not even my grandfather can control the cauldron. Who is that over there? Tis Odin. It seems the battle is winding down. Soldiers are approaching. I must leave before they spot me. Master! Princess Velvet, you're safe! When I heard that you had run away, I gathered those who were determined to rescue you. This area is not safe. If a puka is captured here, they will discover the entrance to the town. Someone's coming. Please, go and hide. I'll draw them away and buy you time. But... Please! Halt, woman! You're... You use a cipher. You must be a high-ranking officer. I am Gwendolyn. I am from the Honorable King's bloodline. The Demon Lord's daughter? So, she is my half-sister. And who are you? Tis now your turn to answer. <sighs> Stop! Kind of thought we were going to get a double boss fight. Never happened before a single time, because they, they, don't, they don't stray from their structure, but... Uh, wouldn't have been too surprised if it happened there. It would, it would have fit, at least. Increase the burn effect caused by Cypher skills. Well, that's going to definitely get maxed out quickly. In fact, let's just put some of that in right here. That seems awfully useful. Alright, so she finds Cornelius unconscious, although she doesn't know it's our Cornelius. It's just some puka that has a cipher. And, uh, I don't, did she, I don't know if she even recognized that, it had a, that he had a cipher. Ooh, burn attack, uh... Apply burn effect effect to attack... Uh, blah, blah, sentences are hard, apparently. Wow, good job. Apply burn effect to attacks when hit points are... Oh, when your hit points are low. Bummer. I'll still grab it, but I was kind of hoping at first glance that it was going to be like 30% bonus to burn duration or something on all your attacks, which would have been crazy. Alright, so she didn't recognize that it was Cornelius. I don't don't remember Cornelius' chapter, which I think showed the proper cutscene, but I don't think she recognized that it was a cipher either, but that was kind of a big deal. The cauldron and three ciphers roll in one location at the same time, basically. So, But yeah, she uh, ran off to distract them. 